Hello everyone, I am Nafiz Rohat. Welcome to my YouTube channel New Arts. Today I am going to show you how to render a sectional perspective in Photoshop. First, I have rendered a 3D view in SketchUp with V-Ray. Um, it's a bird's eye view. And then I will show you that how I cut in Photoshop and uh, then step by step prepare for the final presentation. First, I am duplicating the original layer. I always do uh, whenever I render any view in Photoshop. I put another sectional perspective of mine in the, in the lower version of, of the layer uh, to get the reference. And then I am making the base through the lasso tool. I'm using the same process to coloring the base with the black color or you can give gray color or any other color whatever you want. I'm making my frame a little bit bigger uh, to create my base and I'm using lesser tool again matches the color with the previous sectional perspective because I'm going to use it for the same project In the next step, uh, I'm going to use uh, trees. I'm going to put it in my sectional perspective. I have a few collection of uh, um, PNG trees, which I got from X SketchUp Texture Club. You can also download free from there. I am giving the link below in my description. And yeah, then I import it the tree and then right click on the tree because uh, it's still not fit with the angle so we have to fit with the angle using the distortion tool I will yeah, use the same process to create the shadow of the tree uh, make a copy of it because the shadow should be look like exactly uh, like like the tree but it's a little bit distorted it should be um, I uh, and make the tree overlay with the color black color and uh, I use the Gaussian black uh, to make it the blurry shadow and this is how I create the tree this tree is a little bit more colorful so I am uh, adjusting color with using the saturation tool Then there is a water plaza. I will use this water image uh, to give a little water effect on that plaza. It's a plaza where the children and people can play with the water. So I have to show it in my sectional perspective. Try to write down every time uh, yeah, the name of the layer so that you can recognize later 
which layer what you have to do when you have to do just reduce uh, the opacity a little and then blending the edges of the water to match with the plaza then I also have uh, downloaded a image of water fountain so I will use that portion of water in the water plaza as a water fountain when you put with the black background uh, use uh, the screen mode so that black background disappear I also put a white background behind copy anything in Photoshop use alter and left click of the mouse always then I also have few collection of peoples so I will use them frequently some some of plugins I have with white background I have to delete the background with uh, magic eraser tool and then I am using that same lasso tool to copy those people then I'm making another group for people and I'm, I will put all the people to layer in that group press ctrl C and ctrl V to copy ctrl T to select the layer and uh, you can drag smaller with the points following the same process in the next step in that case if you have people with white background you can also use the mood multiply so that white background disappear on any colorful background and if you have a high quality PNG image then you can easily use them without selecting any background you can also download those people from SketchUp Texture Club uh, they are free version as uh, all of my uh, style is the same like black color people I'm going to use so no colorful people it's just, just for abstract presentation It's very important while you do any sectional perspective, you have to perceive the scale. It's not easy. Sometimes it may look very distorted or not in proper scale. So it's really very important to identify the scale properly. I have to put more people because I have to make this place more light.
if you have more time you can also put the shadow over the the bow but right now i want to keep it more abstract To make the place a little bit more live with the nature, I am using also some birds flying over the sectional perspective. Trying to fix the angle of the base a little bit and then I am saving. I am al already in the end of the simple sectional perspective. And I'm also saving a JPEG for my presentation board. So this was my sectional perspective rendering tutorial today. If you have any question, you can do any comment below and subscribe my channel. Thank you.